I'm Amy from Amy's Beach Fitness. Today's workout is going to be a full body isometric bar workout. Remember to stretch a little before and after all my videos. And thanks again for watching and your support. Also get your mind centered. Okay, here we go. We're going to start out by palms down on your weight. You're going to be working your shoulders. It's going to be a little lift straight out. Up, hold for 10. Dropping an inch, 10 more. 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 Watch the neck drop an inch, 10 more. Last inch down, we're gonna do 20. Ten more. And there's 20, wow. A minute and a half we did that for. A lot of shoulders, great work. Okay, now thumbs are gonna be up on your weight. You're gonna angle your arms out um, like a V, but we're gonna start low with isometrics, 10 in each round, and we're gonna just inch up. When we get to here, we're gonna come back down. All right, my feet are also hip width apart. All right, here we go, slight bend in your knees. Arms have a slight bend, but not much, so it's 10. Tightness in the arms. Up an inch higher. Up an inch. Up an inch. Up an inch. Last up an inch. Now you're going to go down an inch. Down another inch. Down another inch. We're doing 10. Remember, 10, 10 reps. Down another inch. Down another inch. Down another inch. Down another inch. We're almost there. Stay with it. Last inch down, 20. Ten more. And 20. Shake it out. Shake it out. Wow. Okay, we're gonna get some biceps. Now, we're gonna start low, same thing. We're gonna do little. Actually, my elbows are gonna stay tight to my side when I'm low, but as I open up this way and bring up, my elbows obviously can't stay tight to my, or tight to my side. 10 reps in each lift or each round. Okay, so here, little bends in my elbows, bicep. Up an inch. Up another inch. Up another inch. Up 
up another inch. This is the last inch up. We're going to work our way down. Now down an inch. Down another inch. Another inch. Keep resistance and tightness in those biceps. Another inch down. Please watch the neck. Last one. Ten, or actually twenty. Ten more. And shake it out. Wow. Good stuff. Very, very good stuff. Okay. Now, going to do, I'm going to face forward. I did this last week in a video, but you know what? I'm going to do it again, but we're going to do it for a longer amount. You're going to not see my face. Finger or weights are touching. Elbows are touching if you can. You're going to keep your arms up and try not to drop them. Put resistance into your biceps and shoulders and triceps. Okay, because as we open up, we'll feel it in the triceps. So 10 lifts. Open an inch. Open another inch. Open another inch. Another inch. Another inch. Another inch. Another inch, almost there, stay with it. Okay, now you're, I'm facing you for 20. And shake it out. Mm. Okay, you're gonna put your arms back up into shoulder press position. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go out. So you're gonna be here and then you're gonna come out, lift, bend. Okay, we're gonna do 20 of those. Stay with me, please. Very slow, very controlled. Put resistance, flex your biceps. Keep your arms very tight. Okay, so you're here. Here we go, 20 rounds. One. Two, three, four, tightness and control, six, seven, eight, nine, Here's 10. Come on, stay with it halfway. We can do hard things, hard workouts. Five more. Please watch your neck. And there it is. Oh, wow. Last body part on the arms is going to be tricep. All right, so start really low and we're gonna work high. Palms are gonna face, feet together, flat back, neutral neck, very important, and tummy in. So 
The arms are going to stay tight. So you're just coming back for 10. We're going to gradually lift up. Okay, up an inch. Here we go. It's going to get harder as those arms go up. Up another inch. Up another inch. Up another inch. Up another inch. Here's where it's going to start getting hard. Up another inch. Up another inch. Up another inch. Up another inch. Mm, my triceps are feeling it. Up another inch. Up another inch. Up another inch. Stay with it. Getting close. Up another inch. Last inch for 20. Stay with it. Ten more. And 20. Ooh, e. I didn't keep track of how many rounds, but I think we did like 160. 160 little lifts. Okay, I'm gonna put my weights over here. Now, you're gonna need something sturdy. I'm gonna have my green stool today. Give your arms, you know, stop the video if you need to shake things out and stretch things out. That was uh, 12 minutes of isometric arm work, which was awesome. Okay, high on your releve, okay? Get in your tuck, really get in your focus, please. Focus, focus, focus. Okay, you're gonna start high. You're gonna start with a little bent knee. Your knees are bent. Get in your tuck, up hold. Put your other hand on your waist for 10. Pausing on the lift. Okay, drop an inch. That was 10. Make sure you're in that tuck. Core tight to support your back. Ten more, drop an inch, slow it up. Down an inch, ten more. Down an inch. Down an inch. If you can't go any deeper, it's okay. Stay where you are and just keep pulsing. Watch your knees. Okay, down one more inch. <sighs> okay, now no more pulsing. Go in with your knees for 10. 
Stay as low as you can. Stay and tuck. Up an inch, same thing, 10 more. In with your knees. Up an inch, 10 more. Releve, you're on tippy toe. If it's too hard on your feet, stay flat footed, it's fine. Okay, up one more time for 20. Here we go, really, really slow. Bring those knees in, stay in tuck. Tuck means heavy tailbone. So basically your hip bones pop out. Your back does not arch, it stays straight. Think of a weight pulling on your tailbone, but your upper body doesn't shift. Okay, follow my count for 20, in with your knees, ready? One, two, pausing on that in. Ten, ten more. And stretch it out. Inner thighs really got to burn, 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 burn. Okay, now, and once again, you don't have to hold on to anything. I just do, I mean, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but I just felt today that I would. So do what comes to you. There's no right or wrong. If your balance is really good and you can keep your form, you don't need anything to hold on to. It's your call. Right foot on the mat. We're gonna start low. Hips are facing you, meaning square. So I'm not opening up my hip. Okay, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stay low first. My left leg, I've got it totally flexed, okay? I'm in, I'm in, I'm in point. In my tuck, slight bend in my knee, actually. Um, I'm gonna face this way for film purposes so you guys can see me. Okay, so I'm in my tuck, core is tight. I'm staying low in point for 10. Resistance into my entire leg, flexing it. One. Up an inch. Now you're going to flex your foot for 10. Hips are square. Up another inch, you're going to point. Up another inch, flex. Up another inch, point. Last one, you're gonna flex it for 10. And slowly bring the leg down. My left hand is on top of my left, um, top of my left foot, giving myself a quad stretch. What's cool, once again, is you feel it in your supporting leg. Okay, now, left foot's gonna be on the mat, same thing. Slow, get in, tuck tight, right leg now. Hips are square. Ready, go for 10. Up an inch, flex. Up an inch, point. Up an inch, flex. Tight leg. Tight right leg. Up an inch, point. Up an inch, flex. Stay with me, up an inch, point. Mm. Last one, up an inch, flexed, wow. And slowly bring the right leg down, please stretch your quad. Right hand on top of my right, top of my right foot. 
You want to be easy in your stretch, okay? Don't jerk into it. Just slowly ease into your stretch. Okay, so that focused obviously on quads, supporting light. You felt it in your glute. All right, now, right foot on the mat. Now this one, um, you're going to start with a point. You're going to keep your foot in point. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to start here and do clockwise circles. And as we go forward, then now my quad is facing up towards my ceiling, continuing clockwise circles with my foot. Like I'm tracing a tennis ball, that, tennis ball. then on the way back, I'm going to be going counterclockwise with circles. Okay, so that's the deal. I'm just going to get your hip flexor. So, pit, so when you're here, my hip is facing you. But then when I get to about here, my quad is going to be facing up to the ceiling. So my, fa my <laughs> hip is then in the line with my leg. All right, here we go. I don't know how many rounds yet. We'll just have to stay tuned and see. All right, so focus. Don't also lean into what you're working on for, for balance. You want to keep your body in alignment or do your best. Okay, remember clockwise circles in point. You're going towards center. Keeping the quad tight. So there's my quad is facing up towards my ceiling now. Now I'm going to reverse it to counterclockwise. Now clockwise, tough move. Counterclockwise. Oh. Okay, guess what? One more. Clockwise. Mm. It's very, very, very difficult. Counterclockwise. This is it. Stay with it. Don't give up. And bring the leg down. Wow. Very hard. And look at how many we didn't even do. We did forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. We did six of them. So, wow. Okay. Same thing. Other side of your body. Remember, you always have a side that's more comfortable or not as hard. So, clockwise circles forward. <laughs> okay, here we go. Counterclockwise back. Clockwise circles. <sighs> mm, it's hard. <sighs> mm. Very difficult for me. Forward. Clockwise. And rest. Go out to the side. That's hard. It's really hard. Okay. Now we're gonna work on our hip flexors, really work on our hip flexors. Feet, your right foot's gonna stay on the mat, no releve here. Okay, I'm gonna do my best. And for you at home who have tight hips, if you can't get your, if your knee to face straight out, don't worry about it. But the foot, the leg that's working, have that foot in point. Okay, so you're gonna be here. You're actually gonna be just like this. So don't, once again, don't lean into, um, over to the right. All right, we're gonna lift for 21, you're in point. Leg out long, back into it, 20 more. Ten more. Leg out long, bring it down, and come down. You know what I felt is I've got um, some tightness going on into my hamstring and behind, underneath my glute. Felt a lot of um, stretch in that. 
pretty interesting. Okay, same thing. So you're doing 20, leg out long, just for half a second, 20 more, leg out long, and then you're done. Okay, stay with it. We are 25 minutes in, wow. All right, we're gonna go to the floor after this. Okay, ready, go. Feeling it actually in my um, cupcake area too. Keeping my tummy very engaged. Leg out long, bring it back, 20 more. Long and bring it down. Hmm. Okay, so stop the video if you want to stretch a little bit. We're going to go on all fours. I'm going to bring my stool over here. Okay, now let's get in downward dog for about 20 seconds. Just a nice stretch. I did yoga before my video, so I'm pretty loose, but just ease into it. If you have to pedal your feet out, there's, remember, nothing ever wrong with that. Okay, get on all fours. Here we go. Hands directly, your shoulders are actually directly right on top of your wrist. I'm going to actually center myself on my mat. Core is tight. I'm going to start out with my left leg is going to be long, but it's also going to be in a flexed. My foot's going to be flexed. Not dipping over to my right. Okay, hip is squared to the mat. I'm going to lift for 10. Little, slow. Now I'm going to open my hip facing towards you. I'm going to go to point for 10. Back down, up for 20 now. Actually, I'm going to flex my foot again. Ten more. Open up, point, 20 lifts. Hip is open, quads facing you, I hope. Ten more. Okay, last round. Guess what? Flex that foot. 30 lifts. So we're increasing it. Ten. Twenty. Thirty, open up, point, tight leg, quad facing you for thirty. Twenty. Slowly bring the leg down, come back. Stretch out your wrist. Oh, that was good. Okay, I'm going to turn around. I'm going to do the same thing. So now you know what to expect. Obviously, we increased the reps in the three rounds, different, the three rounds that we did. Now, left foot on, left knee on the mat. Remember, shoulders directly on top of your wrist. It's very important. Okay, you're going to start with flex foot for 10. Ready, go. Don't spill over to your left. Open up, hip. Now you're in point for 10. Close hip, flex foot, 20.
10. Twenty, open up. Twenty with point, hips facing you. Ten. Twenty, last one. Thirty, flex that foot. Finish strong. Finish good. Have your form good. Be in tune with your body. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Open up. You're in point. Last thirty. Tight leg. Twenty. Thirty. Slowly come down. Again, your elbows. Stretch out your wrists. Let's do downward dog for another 20 seconds, please. Remember, ease into it. <sighs> Pull your shoulders away from your ears. Don't clench up. Pull your core, really lengthen your body. <sighs> okay, now, so I'm going to do some push-ups. We're going to get some chest here. So I'm actually going to choose to do these on my knees. Um, and pull the core, and you can also do them in plank. It's your call. Um, elbows are going to be out wide. My hands, you know what my hands, I'm going to keep them um, about shoulder width apart. So they're not going to be as wide as what I would normally do. It's kind of changing it up. Okay, so I'm going to do 10 deep push-ups. Nose to the mat. Go deep, however you're doing, and please do your best. Stretch back, stretch out your wrist. Mm. Okay, now I'm gonna get in plank. I'm gonna do some isometric push-ups. So here I'm gonna have my hands wider and I'm gonna go um, just down an inch, uh, up an inch for 30. I'm gonna aim for 30. Okay, make, just make sure your form is good with plank. You can do these on your elbows too. Hands are wide. Okay, elbows out, core tight. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Stretch back. Okay. We're going to work on some obliques here. Some isometric obliques. I'm going to lay on my side. Left hand's going to be behind my head. I'm actually going to go into a side V-sit. My right shoulder is actually going to be bent. I'm just going to get situated and show you guys. So I'm going to come up. My knees are going to bend a lot. Left elbow, I'm going to direct it towards my left knee. And I'm actually going to try to touch it. And I'm going to isolate for 40. So here we go. So it's here. Side crunch. There's 10.
Everybody's flexibility is different. That's 20. If you can only get to here, just make sure the movement is tiny. It's okay. Engaging in the core. 30. Right here. It's exactly where you should have felt it. Okay, other side. Finish strong. We only got about five more minutes. Okay, now you're going to be on your left elbow. Same thing. V-sit. Isolate. Right here. Cupcake, Gary, for 40. Thirty. Forty. Wow. Slowly come onto your back. Okay. Pushing the spine into the mat, please. Get your tailbone off of the mat. Keep your tailbone off of the mat if you're able to. Have your heels as close to your bum as you're able to. Your elbows are going to be not super wide, but not super close to your ear. Somewhere in between. Tailbone off the mat. We're going to isolate for 30 lifts. So it's one, two. Keep that tailbone off the mat. Three, four. Pausing on the lift. Tailbone off the mat makes all the difference. That's 10. Middle to lower is where I'm feeling this. Twenty, pushing my feet into my mat. Thirty. Keeping my right hand behind my head. Left arm is actually going to go. I'm going to do right elbow directed towards my left knee for a side crunch for twenty. Keeping my tailbone off the mat. A lot going on on this move. Wow. 19, 20, switch. Keep that tailbone up. Left elbow, I'm directing it over towards my right knee. That's 10. Twenty. Now, have your hands underneath your bum. This is very important to support your back. Okay. Now, as low as you can keep your leg, your calves to the ground without touching the ground, and also without aggravating your back. You're going to have your feet together, flexed feet. Five second hold, pushing the spine into the mat. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Open up. One, two, three. Four, five, open up. One, two, three, four, five, open up. One, two, three, four, five. Last one. One, two, three, four, five. Back to center. Go up a little higher. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Last one. One, two, three, four, five. Now, oh my gosh, keep the tailbone off the mat. My back did not irritate me one ounce because my tail, my back was pushed into the mat. It's key, key, key. And normally my back really aggravates me. So now, Hey, out, try to have your feet up towards the ceiling. And if you can't, if you have to have bent knees, it's fine. But all you're going to do here is little pulses up. I'm going to do my best to have a pause for 20. And this is it. This is the last movement. So it's one with control. Two. It's a little movement. Three. Four. Five. 
six. Head does not lift off the mat. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, lower core, 12, 13, 14, 15. Keep your neck relaxed. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Quads to chest. That was an amazing bar workout. I do have to say so myself. Anyone, anyway, have a wonderful day. 40 minutes. It's a great full body workout. You will not be disappointed. Um, remember, the light starts within. If you're shining within, you're going to make a difference. First of all, not difference, but you're going to be your authentic self. Start there. And you're going to make a difference in the world. Remember to tell you the world, your friends, the family, everyone about Amy's Beach Fitness on YouTube. And thanks again for your support. It means a lot. I want to be that influence in our world. Bye-bye. Have, have a good day.